Hey, so FIFA 18 is out and you've probably spent this month's wage on packs and now you're really regretting everything. Or your mum is leaving your stepdad because he remortgaged the house just to try and get that Pele. Anyway, you've probably played quite a bit of the game already and you know some of the best players and who they are. But we found a few that you might not know about. So here are five really weird FIFA 18 players. The tallest player in the game, Simon Block Jorgensen. So you think Peter Crouch is tall? Well, he has nothing on this Danish goalkeeper who is absolutely massive. He's on the game because he joined Accrington Stanley and then left to join Whitehawk simply because he was probably too tall to play football. We're not entirely sure why or if he does have a card, but he is on the Foothead database and that is what we're using. So how tall is he? Well, he's six foot 11 and is technically the tallest ever professional footballer, though he did only ever make one appearance for Accrington in the EFL Cup in a 3-2 win over Preston. However, we can't find him on Ultimate Team, despite how hard we're trying. But there is a second tallest player, who is only a little bit shorter than he is, and he's another Dane. What on earth is in the water over there? Anyway, Mikel Maynard-Kvist is 6 foot 8 and a left back. A left back. And, as you're guessing, he has no pace whatsoever. He's just really tall. So, I don't know what he's doing at left back. The smallest player in the game is Hiroto Nakagawa. If you're 5 foot 1, then you're officially shorter than Kevin Hart, Kim Kardashian and Tom Cruise but at least you're taller than Danny DeVito, just. Nakagawa is a 22 year old striker who legitimately is absolutely tiny, at least in footballing terms. He plays in Japan for Kashisa Reysol, and as you can imagine, he has a really low center of gravity, which makes him really, really hard to defend against, especially on FIFA. In FIFA 18, he has a whopping 91 pace, 89 sprint speed, 93 agility, 93 balance, 90 stamina, and oddly 85 jumping, so he might out jump some really tall defenders. So if you end up getting him in a pack or buying him on career mode, then you might just want to use him because he is a bit of a super sub. Oldest player, now bear with us here, Kjetvel Vala. Jetwil Waller? Ketwil Waller? I don't know, this guy is, from now on, we're just gonna call him Jeff because that's way easier. So, Jeff is proper old. And now I know that Lev Yashin is technically the oldest player because he was born in the 20s. However, we're not gonna include icon cards because that's just cheating. Right, so Jeff is 41 and incredibly is from Norway. What the hell do you Scandinavians eat? This centre back made his debut in 1994 and that's before most of you were even born. His card has a massive 34 pace but does have 80 aggression. So he's probably an angry, angry old man. The youngest player on the game is Angel Gomez. He literally just turned 17 the other month and is officially the youngest player on the FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. And guess what? He plays for Manchester United, so you might just have heard of him because he is touted as being a really, really great prospect. He's so young that he was actually born in 2000, back when I was playing Pokemon and suplexing my best mate through a table. Anyway, Gomez has a load of pace, well, 80, and a load of good balance stats as well as agility, so he must be pretty nifty in the game. His former Man United teammate Nani said he's one of the best prospects the Red Devils have, and Danny Webber claimed that he is the next Paul Scholes. While his ultimate team stats aren't great, he might be one to watch in career mode because he can get up to an 83 and can be bought for as little as 2.3 million, so he's well worth it if you want to mature a really talented young player. The strongest player, Adebayo Akinfenwa. Beast mode engaged. Seriously, Akinfenua has been the strongest player on FIFA for ages and he's managed to make himself a brand out of it just simply for being a beast. With 98 strength, there's really nothing to not love about him. I mean, really he should have 99 because, well, just look at him, he's huge. And he's 35 and still going strong in League 2 with Wiccan Wanderers. He netted 12 times in the league last season, which is pretty impressive. He apparently weighs around 16 stone, and that is just all pure muscle. Seriously, you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Akin Fenwa because he would probably destroy you, or at least do the people's elbow on you. He's always dead expensive on FIFA, but he's worth every penny, at least on Ultimate Team, because he's a lot of fun to use, as he is in career mode. Link him up from a messy, and you're in for a great time. And that's our list. Who did you buy first on FIFA 18? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and share this video, and why not hit that subscribe button as well.